All right, this video, I'm going to show you how to reset a Google Home or a Google Mesh system. Um, depending on the model you have, some of the buttons are on the back, some of the buttons are on the bottom here. Uh, I got this from a customer. I put an Eero Mesh in. They didn't want the Google Home anymore, so they told me to take it with me, so I'm going to factory reset it. I will donate this to a customer, charge them a you know, fair installation price, and set it up for them. Uh, but in the meantime, I need to factory reset it. Now, based on you know what I've seen online and what I've Googled in the past, um, it looks as simple as pull the plug out of the back, push this till the light turns blue and let go, and it's reset. What they don't tell you a lot of times is it takes up to 10 minutes for this thing to reset. So if you just plug it in, push the button, you go to the app, and it still says your old network or somebody else's network or doesn't come back up and work, you get frustrated and you try to do it again and again, you end up either throwing them away or switching mesh uh, networks to something different. This will also work if you have an orange flashing light here, an orange solid light, and your router just won't connect. So basically what I want to do is I want to push the reset button and hold it down, and I want to plug it in while holding down the button. So I'm going to try to figure out how to do this and keep a camera angle on it, but basically I'm going to be holding this down with this finger and plugging it in over here. Now I'm also going to turn off the light so you can actually see the lights on the uh, mesh system so you know what's going on. I've got a time or a stopwatch over here set up on my phone so you can see how long this actually takes. So it's going to go through a series of flashing lights. So when you press and hold the back down, plug it in, it's going to go, you're, you're looking for a blue flashing light. So hold it until you see the blue flashing light. If you get to an orange flashing light, you've gone too far, pull the plug and start over again. So we're going to push this down and hold it. I'm going to plug it in while holding the button. And we're going to wait for the light to start flashing blue. So now we're flashing blue. I'm going to let go of the button on the back and we're going to set here. I'm going to start my timer now. I need to go into my settings here real quick and change the uh, display so it doesn't turn off. Back. So I got my stopwatch going. Now while it's doing this, you're going to see a, a series of things happen here. It's going to flash blue. It may turn white. It may flash fast. It may flash slow. It may stop flashing altogether. But don't pull the plug, don't try to reset it again, don't do anything, just patiently wait. Seven to ten minutes later, you're going to end up with a solid blue pulsing light. And that's what you're looking for when you know it's reset. Now a lot of times it'll go orange before it goes into that, so it'll go orange, fast flashing blue again, and then the pulsing blue. Um, I'm not going to pay super attention to it, I'm going to sit here basically and watch TV for the next eight minutes while this resets. Um, but if you see it turn orange, flash blue, again, still keep on waiting. It should flash blue and slowly pulse. So there's our orange bar. That means we're almost done, but not yet. Again, still don't pull it. Don't pull the plug. Don't try to find it yet. Let it sit a little bit longer. You'll see it start to flash here in a second. It'll flash rapidly usually and then it'll go to a slow pulse. We're looking for that slow pulse again. So even if you pulled it up right now, it still may have your old router name on it, and it's still not done resetting. Keep on waiting. Don't pull the plug. Don't do anything yet. Still not done yet. Orange light again. Still resetting. That's what you're looking for is that blue pulse. So now that you get that blue pulse on, we're eight minutes and 45 seconds into this. We go into our network now. I'll go to my Wi-Fi settings. And there's our setup AA A20. Which on the bottom of this, it's upside down and the light's off, but AAA20. So this pod has been successfully reset. I'm going to do the other two. Put it in a box and I'm ready to go. Again, if you're resetting this up, I'll do another video later on how to actually set up a Google Mesh. Um, I've got an arrow mesh in my house. I prefer the arrow over the Google, but um, once I install this in somebody's house, I'll do a uh, video on how to set it up. Uh, it's pretty simple. You do need a Google Home account. You'll set up a Google Home account and basically just scan the code on the bottom and follow the directions. Pretty simple. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Hope this helps you out. Please click on like and subscribe.